Yo, 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 what is up, guys? Jeff back here, another game for you guys. And this is a pretty tight money game for uh, Durant. He just goes insane. And I think it's a nice gameplay that you guys will enjoy. But uh, I have a couple topics for today's video. And uh, one of them are who do you guys think for uh, 2K14 in general, who is the most annoying player to play against? Like, uh, I would say my top five would be Durant, uh, Blake, Melo, Russell Westbrook, and then Paul George. But that's just my opinion. I mean, you guys can have your own. And uh, let me in the comments below what you think about that. And uh, the use of the Spurs online has just been crazy the past week. I know they won the title and everything, but I mean, goddamn, man. It's like every time I play now, it's using the Spurs. Every user I play. And uh, it's pretty wild considering that no one uh, about two weeks ago was using the Spurs at all. But, uh, I mean, they're a pretty tough team to play against. And um, they're not really too... Like super athletic, where you can take a player and just go to the paint and hope for something to happen. I mean, that's just with Kawhi. It's not with Durant or anyone else. But um, they're a nice like team ball type of team. I mean, I haven't tried them yet, but I'm sure I will in the future. But I used them last year for uh, 2K13, the, the tail end of the year, um, because Manu had one of the quickest shots in the game, and it was very nice and smooth. But um, this year, it sort of has like a hitch to it, and I don't like it at all. But uh, I also don't like Danny Green's jump shot. I think they should change it to the way they have it on PS3, which I told you guys before. It's sort of like a mix of Chris Paul and uh, Jamal Crawford almost, I want to say. Um, but if you haven't seen it, you probably won't understand uh, what I'm trying to say. But uh, yeah, you guys will notice that uh, in this game, Durant, the majority of his points come from jump shots. I think only I got five or six points from the post drive, and that was about it. And there were no standing lobs, so uh, most of it was from jump shots, and uh, that just goes to show you um, how nice he is in this game. His jumper, I mean, it looks sort of real life, but I think it should be quicker, as crazy as that sounds. But um, Durant, I don't know. It's just weird with Durant, because I like Durant in real life, and then like when I play him in 2K, man, I hate Durant, you know, it's wild. Because he's a posterizer, and you know, the people I play... It just seems to be weird. I have the worst luck with players, but um, they seem to just fucking go to the paint and get a poster dunk over my whole team the whole time, or 20 chances on the offensive end. It's just annoying as hell, but um, you know, you gotta deal with it. It's just how it is, but uh, Durant, you know, with Durant, I mean, his post game in real life, you know, isn't too, like, crazy, but in the game, um, since he's about 6'11", 7 footish. His player model is 6'10", but in real life, he's about 6'11". But um, odds are, if you put him at the two guard, which I do, you'll have an advantage in the post, and that's always good as he gets open here for the three. And uh, his jumper, it's weird because you can have a slightly early or slightly late and probably make him more than the excellent. But look at this nice shot right here. The and one, bitch. It's so nice. Um, I haven't seen too many and ones this year. Um, I got a four-point play one time. I got three last year, but, you know, it's a rare occasion, but um, Durant right here with another post drive. That's the second one right there. And you know, the post drive, I'm going to tell you guys this right now. The best way to get out of a trap is to either run a give and go or manual cut a man back to uh, where the trappers are or post drive out of it. The best three ways about it right there. It's simple. Um, I mean, you can either do that uh, or you can run a set and get a lob man in position. It's up to you. But I prefer doing the post drive out of it just because people are probably not playing the post defender. So odds are they're not going to try to defend it or stop it or contain it, which you can. Check it out, my guy. The plug. <laughs> um, but um, usually they're the player that try to you know steal passes and shit. Those uh, will definitely help you with uh, your game if you're getting trapped. And I know getting trapped is annoying, but she's got to be patient. Because the odds are the person, or I said the person, <laughs> the person though, the person you're playing, uh, they're really impatient and just try to force things. So if you're patient, you'll probably win the majority of the time. I mean, you can literally probably just jog around. Uh, another tip for traps, don't use turbo because you get trapped quicker. Um, I would suggest just jogging around, post driving uh, one of the trap defenders because odds are your uh, opponent is uh, playing the center or a man trying to steal a pass in the lane or you can call a set and try to throw a lob which I don't know because you're getting trapped so um, I guess your players peripheral vision or vision in general will be clouded probably get tipped more but uh, those are some of the tips and also give and go 
There's something I don't see too many people running, but you can do that with the traps. And uh, Durant gets a nice post fade right here. Bang, bang. And uh, Durant's coming up on 70 points, guys. That's pretty crazy. I think it's 67 right here. And he has more points than the whole Spurs team. That just goes to show you um, how good he is in the game this year. Uh, he's probably the most annoying player since Yao Ming, to be honest. But uh, no, that might be a reach, but that's just in my opinion. And uh, he finishes the game off of 72 right here. But let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed the game. And um, yeah, I'll fucking see you next time.